today we're making ukoi. Ukoi is a deep fried Filipino shrimp fritter that can be made with different kinds of vegetables. But today we're making it the kapangpangan way with green papaya. To make it, you'll first want to prepare an unripened green papaya. Start off by cutting your papaya in half the long way. This papaya was about 2 pounds total, but you'll only need half of it, or 1 pound worth for this recipe. After you cut it, take a spoon and scoop all the seeds out of your papaya. And then peel off all the skin with a peeler. Once you're done, it's time to grate your papaya. You'll want to use the side of your grater that has the biggest holes. Now, just grab your papaya and grate away. Afterwards, just set it aside. Next, you'll want to prepare about 12 to 15 unshelled and deveined headless shrimp. Start off by cutting off all the legs of your shrimp. We like to cut them off just because they're a little difficult to eat. When you're done, place your shrimp into a pan in a single layer and then season them with about 1 fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Next, pour in enough water to submerge your shrimp about halfway. At this point, set your pan over medium heat. Once you start to see little glimpses of orange peeking around the edges, flip your shrimp over to partially cook the other side. The goal here is to cook the shrimp about halfway through. That way, when you're frying the ukoi later, you don't have to wait for them to fully cook and potentially burn the ukoi. When they're done, place them in a bowl lined with a paper towel to help soak up some of the moisture. The last thing we need to prep is the batter that'll hold your ukoi together. To make it, first throw in one cup of cornstarch into a mixing bowl, followed by one fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of annatto powder, and one fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper. Using a whisk, thoroughly mix everything together. Next, pour in one cup of water and stir everything together. As far as consistency goes, you want your batter to have a slight thickness to it, but still be free-flowing. Afterwards, it's finally time to start frying up your ukoi. To get started, you'll need a small plate and a wok with about half an inch to an inch worth of oil that's been heated over medium-high heat. A good way to test if your oil is hot enough is to drop a little bit of the batter in. If it fries up and bubbles like this, it's good to go. Just make sure to fish it out when you're done. With your first batch of ukoi, start off by mixing in only half of the grated papaya into your batter. The reason being is that if you put all the papaya in at once, your ukoi batter will become watery and will make your ukoi soggy. Next, fill a 1 4th measuring cup with the ukoi mixture and place it onto your plate. Using a spoon, make a small dent in the center. And then place one of your shrimp on top. Now, just take your plate and slide your ukoi into the oil as gently and smoothly as possible with a turner. If it separates a little during this process, just quickly push it back together. As the first side is cooking, take some of the batter and drizzle it over the shrimp to help secure it to the ukoi. If you want, you can splash oil across the top of your ukoi to help fry up the top side. When the bottom looks fairly crisp, just flip it over. It took us about 3 minutes to fry up each side, but it may take you more or less time. Just use your best judgment. Once your ukoi is fried to perfection, just scoop it out and place it into a strainer. Then, just keep on cooking. When you're almost out of your ukoi mixture, go ahead and mix in the rest of your papaya into the batter. Ukoi is best served with garlic vinegar. If you want the recipe for that, we'll have it in the description. It's Telegang Tasty!